He's been around the sport of skiing his entire life. Still is. Good morning, Dave. Hey, Wayne. <laughs> Only it's a lot different now. <laughs> David Crowley comes down the mountain, down the race course, mm -hmm. with the assistance of this sit ski and his adaptive guides, Bruce and Andy. Pretty rough course out there, huh? Maybe 2014, as a family, David's gait and uh, hiking or falling balance. and balance, vision, and we just didn't know what was going on. The Crowleys, owners of Wachusett Mountain, didn't know the signs they were seeing then, including impulsive, erratic behavior would later be diagnosed as PSP, progressive supranuclear palsy. Haven't heard of it either? You're not alone. Even today, other doctors or nurses that we've encountered had never heard of PSP. Eventually, the Crowleys realized what it was. With the help of Mass General Hospital, a different, far less known neurodegenerative disorder. And as David started falling more and speaking less, his family understood having him do what he loved. What was most important, spending his time on the mountain in a way that he could. All right, let's do this. Let's get some air. All right. And two days a week, he's in the place that he loves most. Gives him a chance to ski with his grandkids. That's right. <laughs> I love seeing him out there. It brings joy to all of us. I know he's having a great time, and it brings a tear to my eye, honestly. Every time we get up there and I see him doing what I've known him to do all of his life. The grim reality, and David knows this, is that time is running out for him. This Sunday's fundraiser is about tomorrow. A ski day to raise important dollars and finding a cure for PSP. At Wachusett, Josh Brogadier, WCVB Sports Center 5. And